Hi, this is Toby at Cuddle, and in this short video, I'm going to show how to crop an image into any arbitrary shape and then laser engrave it. So I'm going to start in a blank Cuddle project, and I'm going to upload my image, and I'll go to File, Import SVG or Image, and in this case, I'm going to upload a JPEG image of my cat. So there it is. It's coming in pretty big, so I'm going to zoom out using my mouse wheel. So I see my picture on the canvas, and now I want to just crop in on her face. And I think I'm going to make a circular design. It's going to be maybe like a fridge magnet or something. So I have my circle and I'll resize the circle. And that seems good. So now I want to just crop this bigger image into this circular shape. And to do that, I have my two shapes. I'm going to select both of them. I can shift click on the image. So then I've selected both of the shapes. And then I'll choose Modify Boolean Intersect. And Boolean Intersect will take the intersection, like what, what is the same about the two images. So if I click there, then it's going to take the circle and the wider image and just keep what's similar about both. And so the nice thing about this technique is that you don't have to just use a circle, you could use a star or any other shape and crop your image. So here's my cropped image, and I think um, I want to resize it a little bit. Um, a little pro tip, this is showing me both the circle and the wider image because it's um, a group with this Boolean intersect modifier. If I group it again by going to Edit Group, then it's just going to show me sort of what's within here. And then that's nice because then I can uh, center it and set the size. So I just want to make something sort of small. So I'm going to say 2.5 inches. And we'll center it on the canvas. So. That's going to be the image part. And then I think there's also going to be something that I'll cut out. And I'll center that there. So it'll be um, a circle with an image in the middle that I'll raster etch. And then to cut this, I can file export an SVG. Or um, I have a Glowforge, so the easy thing to do is just copy and paste it. So I'll just select it, copy it with the keyboard shortcut. And then in Glowforge, I can paste. It will upload. And then here I have my shape and my image. And I can change my settings accordingly. So I decided to cut this from Glowforge's proof grade medium maple plywood. And I'm just using the default settings for engrave and cut. And here is the finished piece. If you found this video useful, you can support the channel by clicking like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below, and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching.